Whether you're getting home from last week's WEC in Toronto or another industry trade show, you're likely armed with business cards and notes and little slips of paper with comments on them. Well, don't recycle all those notes just yet. There's plenty of things that we can do with these notes to help keep your notes from your industry trade show organized. everyone, it's Leanne and last week's WEC 19 in Toronto was an incredible event. I came home armed with mountains of information, whether it was notes that I took in the different sessions I attended or business cards and notes I took when I connected with people either in the village or in the networking receptions. And now I have all of these bits and pieces of paper and, and business cards that I need to file away. So let's take some time this week to make sure it does get filed and actionable so that you can move forward with all of the information you brought home from the conference. Number one, scan your business cards. I don't know if you have a Rolodex anymore, but my Rolodex is now in my Evernote and I scan all my business cards to my Evernote app. It is a paid feature of Evernote. Um, CamCard is also a very popular app for scanning business cards. So make sure you don't lose those cards. Make sure you have a system for filing them away where you can find the in e information easy for when you need it. Number two, get your notes into a system. Now, again, I have a CRM or a content relation manager system called Salesforce, and I can plunk all of my notes and all of my action items into the CRM and attach dates that I'm going to really look at that information in depth and act upon it. Now, if you don't have a CRM like Salesforce or Asana or Trello, um, use your Outlook, assign yourself a task, make the notes in the description and that way it's going to pop up in your calendar and you're going to look at all those notes and act upon them. Number three, create content. So we're not meant to work and operate in silos. We are meant to share the information that we bring home from these conferences. Now you can share it through social media, through digestible pieces like videos, blogs, podcasts, tweets, all of those little social media sound bites, or you can create a business case to give to your colleagues in your office or to your uh, supervisors as well. Number four, reach out to notable connections. Now you likely made dozens of connections at the conference last week. So for meeting planners, that might be other planners that you meant, met at the show. It could be speakers uh, that you heard. Um, so your breakout session or your keynote speakers, but it could also be meeting partners and suppliers that offered a product or service that you feel you could really use for your programs. Now for meeting suppliers and partners, you want to reach out to the planner friends that you may have met at the show as well. But remember when you do so, provide them not only information about your product or service, but provide them something with value in addition to that. I did do a blog post quite a while ago about what to do when the trade show is over. I'm going to include a link to that blog post in the description for this video. So you can always go to that video and blog post as well. So what are tips that you use at the end of a trade show? What are some of the things you do in the few days when you get home from your big events? Whether you follow these tips or you have your own agenda, make sure you take some time this week and follow up on all those bits of paper that you collected throughout the show. If you've received value from this video or any of my other Two Minute Tip Tuesday videos, please be sure to share them with your colleagues or with your LinkedIn network. More importantly, watch for me at the next industry trade show, which will be CM&E back in Toronto in August. I hope to see you there. Bye for now.